All right, let's get uh, a quick video in. We got retail sales at 8.30. We're going to walk through some trades today um, as they come up. So let's take a look at the markets real quick. Let's go. Hey, Aaron, good morning. Let's go over our setup. So we got retail sales in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to make this video relatively quick. Uh, let's go over what we want to look for. So yesterday, this is one of our top setups in the trade room. It's called a, um, I nicknamed it a sweet spot trade. Uh, basically what it is, is it's a V bottom that happens in the market. And uh, you traders have been doing a really, really good job of spotting this. Uh, what we look for, here's crude oil, for example, is we're looking for our dual tr our trend filters to be down or up. So we have two trend filters in the trade room. Uh, they are, if they're both red, then we're in a hard downtrend. If they're both green, they're in a, where the market's in a hard uptrend. And then if you get these shallow retracements, where, where price does not get into our dual trend filters, meaning it doesn't close by more than two candles inside of either one of our trend filters, meaning it's a shallow retracement. So this is crude oil yesterday. Uh, crude oil fires a lot of sweet spot trades. Um, it's basically a shallow retracement with our dual trend. So if our dual trend is red, red, then we're looking for a shallow retracement and our entries will be the close of our candle uh, here our stop will just be above the candles there so that's what we look for it's called a sweet spot trade uh, yesterday on the s p uh, we had these that fired so on the s p we had two v bottoms at this level now there's these two charts read off each other we have a liquidity grab chart which i'm looking at and then we have a v bottom v top trade i'm going to show you how they match up so if we have a dual trend filter, now these trend filters, if you look at it, this is our proprietary Rinko bar type. This is a bar type that we created ourselves that we've had for years that works very, very well in the market on catching trend. So inside of that proprietary uh, Rinko bar type, we have trend filters built into these already. So if they are green, the market is in an uptrend. Then we have our normal trend zone that's been tested for the last 30 years as the best zone for trend on the S&P. So if you have both trend filters that are green, both are green, and price takes off and starts moving to the upside, and then we get a retracement trade where you have an opposite color red candle that comes down, and price does not get into the structure of these dots meaning you do not come inside of these dots not touching the dots price can come all the way down to these structure dots like it did here it just cannot close more than two candles inside of our structure meaning you want them to stay above price like this and above price like this and that's called a sweet spot trade because the market tends to go vertical hard this was 65 fill, plus or minus a few ticks, ran all the way to 88. So you can see that 65, 68, 85, that's what, 28 points on this last move, 28 points there. And then the entry over here, the close of that bar, 77 and three quarters, high as 87 and three quarters, 10 point potential there. Now your entry is gonna be the close of this candle. Your initial stop's gonna be the low of this candle. Now this can't, this is a, this is a, a uh, on the, the liquidity grab chart. On the liquidity grab chart, we have this over here to the bottom right. So, so you can see structure. And then on the left, we have our V bottom, V top chart. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how you match these up. So let's take a look at 11, 11, 28, and then just uh, 11, 47 yesterday this is our main chart we look for our trade setups which i'll go over so if i look at yesterday this is what a v bottom looks like on this chart and that's how structure held on our liquidity grab chart if i put these charts beside each other and i skinny it down this is what it's going to look like 
get this out of the way. So if you notice this at 11, 111355, 11, 11, they match up. That's what a V bottom is going to look like on our chart. So these retracements over here, if you get a reach starting any retracement with trend, and your structure holds at this level over here at this level, watch for the market to go vertical. These are levels where the market likes to go vertical hard in that direction. Now here's a process. This cycle repeats on a daily basis in all these markets. So what happens, we have a dual trend filter. Our dual trend filter, red, red we sell, green, green we buy. So here's our dual trend filter right here. This happens on a daily basis on all markets. The cycle repeats. So here's what we got. We got red zone and our red Simrika bar. Red, red, short. As soon as a opposite color trend filter dot comes in, meaning green, red, or red, green, right there. As soon as it comes in, you're looking, as soon as the opposite dot fires, watch for a failure trade to start the trend change to the upside. So the first trade we're going to look for after a green dot against red, we're looking for trend to change to the other side because this becomes where the market becomes choppy. So if you become choppy, you cannot take these outer edge trades. We don't want to take these outer edge trades. We want to take it with overall trend change trend. We don't want to take these. We want to fire in on a failure trade. If you're going to take a shot at it, the failure trade's right there. So there's your failure. This is the cycle that happens every day. Then you come into your first MOMO. A MOMO trade is categorized as where the market is exploding to the upside in one direction. Now we have two shots at a MOMO after a V bottom or V top, and you have two shots at it after a failure trade. The first shot at is the best to get a runner here. So 55.50 would be your best time to enter. Your stop is a low of that candle. Obviously, the market just explodes to the upside. So this is the rhythm of it. It likes to go to fit after an opposite color dot comes in. We go green, red, green, looking for a failure. That gets the market moving. You got a shot at the first MOMO. You don't want to take it more than the second shot. That's your third shot. These are late in the tooth. You want to avoid these. But then we get a V bottom. A V bottom is categorized as this. So you have a normal V bottom and you have a sweet spot V bottom. What a, what a V bottom is, is when you are rallying your green green and you get a retracement. You get an opposite color candle that's going against trend. This is where the counter trend traders get taken to the woodshed. It's a pause in the market. Usually this pause happens at pivot levels. It happens at, you know, different pivot levels, whether it be whatever pivot levels you're using. I know we had a couple traders talking about pivot levels the other day. Um, it would pause and then the pivot level would hit and then it'd run right through the pivot levels. You know, I, I saw some comments on some traders talking about the, it's pausing at the pivot levels. That's what they do. They pause. This is a pivot level the traders were talking about. I believe it was at this level. It paused, went down, and then shot right through the pivots. So pivots are, are basically great for targets, worthless for support and resistance uh, because they run right through them. So what we need to do is we need to understand when we get a retracement here, here, we're looking for a continuation bar right there, that yellow candle to fire. Once that yellow candle fires, if it fires within three candles, this yellow entry candle fires within three candles of this hammer or what's called a doji, if it fires within three candles, you have yourself what's called a V bottom. Now if I look, what a sweet spot is then, a sweet spot V bottom is very simple. As we're retracing, and we'll watch trade setups do this today, this is very leading. Um, sometimes you get a good one, two minutes, seven minutes, ten minute heads up before this happens on the retracement. As soon as this starts retracing, you want to see where your structure dots are over here in your liquidity grab chart. Okay, it's structure. So as we start moving up here at this level, we start rallying here. We have the trend change over here. We went green, green at this level at 1049.17. 1049.17, we're green, green. We're rallying over here on liquidity grab chart. We're rallying here on our V bottom, V top chart, Momo chart. 
as soon as you get that first retracement, as we get the first red candle that comes in, look where your structure dots are. See where your structure dots are. Your structure dots were right here at this time on the retracement. So when you start retracing here at 1108.35, it told you if you do not close two candles below the structure and close right back up, which it did uh, four minutes later, then that's your buy at 65, 65 entry. So you see how these charts read off each other. Right there's 65 entry on this chart to also 65 and a quarter. So they, you could tell if structure holds over here and here, you have a what's called a sweet spot trade. The market should go vertical. And the same thing was with crude oil. Crude oil is the same way. If you're not getting into structure and you're away from it, here's my two trend filters. These are setups. These are sell setups, right? So what we want to do is we want to stick with trend. But as price moves up, after the first V bottom, you get another couple shots at it. You get a Momo 1 and a Momo 2. Never take a Momo 3 after V bottom. Then we come into another sweet spot V bottom. There's your retracement on this chart. Now, why I call it a sweet spot retracement, let's take a look at our chart, our liquidity grab chart. Look how structure holds on the retracement. It comes right down to it and stops to the tick right on it. And then we get a reversal bar. That's your entry at the close of that candle. This is your entry. Your stop is a low of that candle until you get your targets off, your first targets off. Then you can adjust your stop. But that's your stop. So notice on this V bottom, this V bottom, uh, it's got to come within a couple candles of the reversal, the hammer. This happens right on it. If you see a hammer that happens right exactly on the reversal candle, Look for a power move up, okay? This, these two are what's called liquidity grab, the liquidity grab chart and the V bottom chart. They both confirm each other. Then we get a Momo, Momo, and then what do we have? We have an opposite do a colored dot that comes in over here against trend. So what does that mean? Opposite colored dot, cycle starts over. So then the whole cycle will start over again. So now the cycle started over. What do we look for? You look for a failure trade. The failure trade is the first trade to look for. There it is. There's your failure. And then we look for a Momo and a Momo. Let's go back again, and we'll look at the previous day. Same thing happened. Previous day, another one. Here's our previous day. Previous day, same exact thing happened. Look at that. We went green to red, red to green. I'm sorry. We'll look for a failure trade that started us off. There's your first Momo. There's your second Momo. Now let's take a look at the sweet spot trade over here. Let's go to the previous day. Same exact setup. Market exploded out of this level. You can see market structure held. Let me skinny this down so you understand this. Very easy to see visually. We are green, green. There's our failure trade. Green, red says we're looking for a transition to the upside. Failure starts it out. Momo, one, Momo, two. Then we get a sweet bottom trade right there at this level. <clears throat> Look how structure holds. Doesn't close below it. Your entries are close to that bar. Market just takes off. Right there is your entry, 25 and a quarter. And she goes all the way up to almost a 25-point move. So again, we start rallying, another V bottom, Momo, Momo. Now this is a normal V bottom. I'll show you why at 12.38, a normal V bottom happens. A normal V bottom happens because see how structure got closed in by just a little bit. It closed two candles. It almost made it. Two candle close inside of structure dots. You don't want to get into structure. You want to stay above structure, and you see these big, nice price moves when they both confirm. So this is how it repeats on a daily basis. We'll watch for this on a daily basis today. We'll watch again for this chart right now. As, we, as we're speaking right now, let's look at live market. Right now we have going into the retail sales that comes out in three minutes. I had the dots, my dual trend filter. So think about this. These are nine trend filters that are coming together with, when both these combine. Because inside of my Simrinka bar and inside of my dual trend, 
There are nine trend filters that have to agree. They all have to agree. There's nine of them. Nine total have to agree to turn red, red, or green, green. So when they turn green, green, or red, red, you know that the market's possibly going hard trend in that direction. That's what we want to take. But there's an opposite color dot that happens. The market goes into chop. So we're looking for a failure for a trend change. So if you see an opposite color dot that comes in like that, you need to what? Understand you're into a chop market, so you have to look for a failure, then a momo. So what are we going to look for the next trade? We're going to look for this uh, market to retrace for V bottom at 85 and a quarter. So if, it, if we get a retracement here and start getting red candles and we hold 85 and a quarter and get a reversal, then we have a V bottom buy. Okay, so that's what we're looking for currently right now. Gerald, go ahead and shut that off if you can. We're going into news here in about uh, uh, news here in about a minute. So the the rule of thumb with news, we want to wait for three minutes after news. A lot of traders wait till five, and then we're going to start stalking some trades. But it's going to be the same rhythm, same setup. We're going to look for stick on the side of the dual trend filter. We want our structured dots to hold. 